What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys an Iron Valiant team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Iron Valiant, I actually love this Pokemon so much. I think its design is absolutely amazing. But to be honest, I haven't used this Pokemon in a while. So we're using it with Ice Rider Calyx, looking to grab some wins for you guys today. Let's go in a little bit more depth into Iron Valiant's build for today. It's got Cork Drive and the Booster Energy, Rock and Moon Blast, Icy Wind, Disable, and Protect. I actually really do like this build right here, considering you got some speed control, you got Disable, which could really be a clutch move and last but not least you got moon blast moon blast big time stab damage really can't go wrong with iron valley now our restricted pokemon is going to be ice rider calyx and something that you guys probably noticed on this team is there's no trick room which is really odd for an ice rider calyx team but this ice rider calyx actually pretty fast it's got a bunch of speed investments in its evs and then we got pelper with tailwind and like i already mentioned iron valley with icy wind so i think we can get calyx to outspeed with this squad Rest of the team consists of Raging Bolt, Urshfu, Ogre Pond, and Pelipper. Pelipper's there for weather and speed control. Urshfu's there for big time physical attacking. Same thing with Ogre Pond. And Raging Bolt, a nice big time special attacker with that life orb as its item. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Iron Valiant team. First match on its way, going up against a Zamazenta and Shannon, the lower team. They also have some very strong Pokemon, such as Rillaboom, Fluttermane, Chen Pao, and Galarian Moltres. How should we play this one? Who should we go into? Now, one Pokemon we obviously have to watch out for is going to be Zamazenta. Not just because it's super defensive bulk and can hit hard with body press, it's because it probably has wide guard. So that is a move we definitely have to watch out for. But who should I lead? And how should we get after it? I mean, we could just go straight into Pelipper. I feel like Pelipper isn't terrible, and especially because it has wide guard, we get Tailwind set up. I like this a lot. And we also have Weather Ball in that. So I'm going to go into you, and I'm also going to go into... I could just lead this thing with Urshifu, right? I could just go Weather Control Urshifu, but then, obviously, what's it called could be a problem. Real Boom. But maybe they don't lead Real Boom. And if they do, we could just hard swap into Calyrex or something. Yeah, so I'm going to go Urshifu, Pelipper, and then bring Valiant and... Calyrex in the back end. I do like that. I do like Raging Bolt here as well, but to be honest, I like the team that we have. So I definitely want to obviously use uh, Iron Valiant in today's video. I don't want to bring you guys an Iron Valiant team and not use Iron Valiant. That would just be, that'd be absurd. So we're going to rock Iron Valiant in this battle. They end up going Fluttermane and Salmazenta, so I don't mind this. I mean, I can hit really hard here with Surging Strikes. My only problem is going to be my only problem over here is going to be that Flutter Mage just outspeeding us. Potentially Booster Energy. Yep, there it is. Booster Energy getting some speed. Um, I think we might just want to... Hmm. Might just want to detect with this boy and then try to set up a Tailwind. I think that's in our best interest. I could go for a Wide Guard, maybe read that. But I think I'd rather set up a Tailwind this turn. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go Wide Guard here. I'm going to play this one smart. I'm going to go Wide Guard early on. And I'm not even going to thrash slides. I'm just going to go straight and certain strikes and get rid of this Flutter Mage. That is going to be my play. So we're going to say bye-bye to this Flutter Mane. Hopefully, it's going for Dads and Clean. That's really what we're looking for right here. We are in the higher ranks. We are top 3,000 right now. So we're hoping these guys would do like normal player things, not something totally odd out of the ordinary. So hoping for Dads and Clean rather than Moonblast. But we're going to see a Terra pop out here, Terra 1. Looks like it's going to go into the Flutter Mane slot, correct? Looking to do as much damage. No, it's going to be Zamazenta. So Zamazenta is going to get that Dragon Terra, which is actually a pretty good Terra type. A nice big time Dragon Terra. Are you going for Iron Defense? That's the real question. That's my real question. Wide Guard is going to fly from Paloops. Such a good move. Wide Guard's so good in rank G. And they're going to go for Thunder Wave, which actually, I mean, that's fine. I'm dodging attack regardless. And you go for Body Press. Body Press doing big time damage, but Surge Strikes can now fly and finish off Fluttering. All right, cool. So we didn't even have to go for Wide Guard. We could just went for Tailwind. We could have just went for tail, and we got lucky and kind of dodged that thunder wave. So we need some speed control. Um, Urshfu might just want to detect this turn just so it can outspeed that uh, that Zamazenta next turn. So I do want to get off like at least some damage onto that thing, right? Real Boom now flies out here. Could hurricane that thing. I definitely want to pop a tailwind. I definitely want to pop a tailwind. And do you have Ghost? I was going to say, I'm kind of hoping you have Ghost, but I'm just going to go Tailwind here and I swap you. Could maybe just go into you. But if you're going for Body Press, we don't like that one. But, you know, we're just going to protect and maybe just, like, let 
first food die out here. We're hoping they'll fake it out or just go in the grass guy in that slot. That'd be very helpful. I don't want him faking out Pelipper. And you're going for Grass Guy into Pelipper. So are you doubling down into Pelipper here? You are, you son of a biscuit. How dare you? Double down to Paloops. Smart play there. Read my attack. Great call there. Wonderful call. Okay, now, so now we're going to go into you. And I think we just want to rationalize. We really want to slow these guys down a little bit. So I could just tear a fire. I mean, body press is still going to do a big chunk of damage. But if I can at least get off Glacial Lance, we should be fine here. I'm going to double down into Zamazeta. I know it's defensive bulk, but I just think getting after this thing is in our best interest. So I'm going to go into uh, Calyrex here. Uh, I think I have to Terrastalize. Do I have to? Is fire going to be in our best interest? Um... Honestly, maybe Terrastalizing might not be the call here. So what could you have? You could have Heavy Slam. You could go into a Heavy Slam. I think Fire Terror is not bad here. We're going to go Fire Terror, Glacial Lance, and you might Y Guard me. You might Y Guard me. But I'm going to say you don't. I'm going to say you don't. I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to go into a close combat into this uh, Real Boom slot, just in case you want to go for Y Guard here. Just in case you want to go for Y Guard, because I'm going to this Rock Y Guard, just like how our Pelipper did. I really wish we would have got off that Tailwind. So we're going to the Fire Terror. Looking to get off Glacial Lance. We'll see what they want to do here. And we're really just hoping not for a Y Guard. And there it is. Y Guard, of course. Our opponent's just playing so good right now. They really are. The aggressive guy is going to fly. is going to pick up the KO. Um, I feel like from here, we kind of just have to spam Glacial Lance, right? I feel like we have to spam Glacial Lance at this point. I could go Icy Wind this next turn. We gotta see how many turns are left in the terrain. But I feel like we just have to start spamming this. I could disable. Oh, I could disable Y Guard. I could disable Y Guard, which could really bring us to, to be really good here. I'm going to try to disable Y Guard here. Might go for it. Might not. But we're trying things out. We're trying things out here. He's going to go for Y Guard here. Okay. If I could just disable this Y Guard, that could be massive for us. You're going for Grass Guide into the Valiant slot? You are. Which I soak. And Grass Train should end rather soon. I'm going to disable this move. You are not allowed to use that anymore. And if I can get off an Ice Wind, that is massive. Because I think Terrain should end. And if Terrain can end, we can really get Coke in there. We can really get cooking with these two. So Wild Guard's still gonna get blocked. We disabled it, which is good news. And can Terrain end? I really want Terrain to end, and it doesn't. Can I eat up another Grassy Glide? I don't think we can. We definitely want to go for uh, Glacial Lance here. But that's the thing. We're definitely gonna go for an Icy one here, because if you don't Grassy Glide my Iron Valiant, then my Iron Valiant should get off Icy Wind. I'm scared of this Body Press on the same thing. I might just protect this turn. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect. Hopefully at least one of you guys attacks my Iron Valiant. going to withdraw Robum. Okay, so Robum gets a withdraw. He's going to go into Shen Pao. It should still do a nice chunk of damage to it. And he could just start Sucker Punching me. Let's see what Zamazenta is going for. Please, Zamazenta, go after my Iron Valiant. Go after my Valiant. Zombacent is going to go for a Protect, which you can't because you just went for a Y Guard. Oh, this could be a decent turn for us. This could be a decent turn for us. Not bad damage on the Zombacent. We love that. Shen Pao is going to take some damage. Um, Rain is going to stop, though. So Shen Pao is sitting here in a decent position. I mean, typing-wise, you could Sucker Punch me. Um, what other moves could you have? Sucker Punch, Icicle Crash, Throat Chop. Sacred Sword. Hmm. We're going to go into this and... Do I try to Moon Blast? Yeah, we're going to try to Moon Blast at least. We're going to try to Moon Blast. Now, you have Rillaboom in the back end, which is kind of scary. There goes the Sucker Punch, which is fine. I mean, my Calyrex can soak that all day. Maybe I should have went for an Icy Wind, but I am going to get rid of Shen Pao here. And as long as my Calyrex can survive the shot, we have a decent chance of actually winning this match. Can you soak this Body Press? 
Heavy Slam. Okay, into this slot, which we die out to. That's fine. So now it turns into a 1v1, which is... We have a shot here, because I know my my uh, my Glacier Lance is going to pick up the KO here. Beautiful. So now it turns to a 1v1, and all we have to do is land a Glacier Lance. That's the only way. That is the only way. The only way we win this. Now, we got to hope that he doesn't have high horsepower, but there is a chance that we do eat up high horsepower. So our Terror type actually helping us out here. But not going to lie, that disable on our Iron Valley really put us in a good position to win this game. But our opponent was making some good plays early on. So Real Boom comes back out here. It's going to set Grassy Terrain. He can fake me out this turn. It really don't matter. We're going to get that fake out each feet back. And we're just going to go into another Glacial Lands. Let's do it. Let's do it. He goes for high horsepower. Can we soak? We do. We live on 10 HP. You should have faked me out first. You should have faked me out first. Maybe get some damage off. But the Grassy Terrain would have helped us out. But there it is. Calyrex soaking up that high horsepower. Glacial Lands coming through here. Picking up the KO and picking up the win. What a hot start for us. Iron Valiant and Calyrex picking up a win in match number one. Now we're going into match number two, and I haven't gone up against a Tatsugiri and Don Dozer team in a good bit. And that's exactly what we're doing here, going up against both of them with Galarian Weezing, with Shadow Rider Calyrex, and then Raging Gold and Shen Pao. So back-to-back -back battles going up against Shen Pao. How should we play this one? Who should we go into? I do like Raging Bolt here. I could lead Iron Valiant, maybe just to get some speed control with Icy Wind. It does have that booster energy into speed, I believe. Yeah, which is actually really nice for us. So they don't really have any way of speed control. Maybe a separate like E Web on Rage Bolt. But this thing speeds rather well. Look at that. 101. Not bad, especially with Tailwind up. We can really get going. But one thing I might not want to do is set the rain. Because Don Dozer can really just thrive out there with Wave Crash. So I might just not even want to go into Don Dozer. But I think going Iron Valiant is a pretty solid lead for us. I don't mind it. I kind of do like its uh, terror typing of steel. So I'm going to end up doing that. So I'm going to go into Valiant. Um, as our second Pokemon, I could go into Raging Bolt. Just like spam first turn priority if we want to. That's not bad. We got Draco Meteor. We got all that good stuff. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to end up going into you. I'm going to go into Calyrex. And last but not least, probably Ogre Pond here. Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Can't go really wrong with Ogre Pond. Hits hard. Has that sturdy ability. So it kind of acts as a focus dash. I like it. I like it better than Urshfu in this situation. So, we'll see what they want to do here. We shall see. But we're 1-0. Hot start for us that our opponent played really good in that last match. Reading protects on us. Reading wide guards. Actually playing wide guard really well. But then we got out that Iron Valiant. We're just like, yo, your wide guard is over. We disabled it. We were able to drop Glacial Lance. Pick up some KOs and win that match, which was awesome. But he ends up going into Weezing alongside with Calyrex. Now, we can't boost our energy from here, which eh, kind of sucks. It does kind of suck. That's kind of suck. I'm mean, can't eat berries either, but I do like our Rage of Boulder. So let's be honest. I'm just going to protect you. And I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt into this slot. I like to just attack the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, Glaring Weezing, really solid here. No abilities are allowed, which is fine, except for their abilities, obviously. They got Unnerve going, and all that good stuff. And he's going to go into a Shadow Ball in this slot. So this is a pretty solid turn because Thunderbolt should do nice damage. And I'm hoping that Thunderclap could just pick up the KO after this. Unless we have to Terrasilize, and we might have to Terra here. We might have to Terra for Thunderclap. Let's just set up Toxic Spike. So Poison, gonna be out and about. Um, do I Terra Thunderclap? That's the real question, because I don't mind going into like Moonblast here, maybe trying to get a special attack drop. Could go for Icy Wind just for a bit more speed control. But I'm really curious to see if... Do we think this is gonna pick up KO? I think I have to Terrasilize here. Just to make sure we pick up the KO, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that this Calyrex goes out here. I, ha I have to. I have to. I can't allow it to get another turn, right? I can't allow it to hit up on my Iron Valley, especially with Shadow Ball or Astro Blast. I just can't. I just can't have it. I can't have it. But it makes sense to why he went for Shadow Ball. He thinks my Iron Valley is Rock and Wide Guard, which is not. So that makes a lot of sense. And Thunderclap is going to finish this off. So cool. You can call on RN just to play it safe and put that Terror on our head. Pick up a KO onto to their best Pokemon on the team. And we're going to throw an Icy Wind just to slow down the Weezing just a little bit. I mean, the Icy Wind was kind of precautionary thing. It was more so like, hey, if you're swapping Calyrex here, we're getting a Thunderclap. We're just going to Icy Wind the Pokemon that's on the field. So we get a nice little speed drop here. Sludge Bomb is going to fly through here. That's looking a little scary because that does KO. That does KO, which is kind of sucks, man. 
Kind of sucks, because the next Pokemon I pull out, it's going to get poisoned. Um, did I bring out Calyrex? Or did I bring out Ogrepan? Hmm. We'll bring out Calyrex. We'll take a little poison from Cali. We shall take a little poison from Cali. So let's see who they go into. It is going to be Dantoza, who they could swap into. Uh, they could swap into Tatsugi. Now the thing about this here is that we could go into Glacial Lance and Thunderbolt into Dondozo. Because if they Terrasilize Dondozo, it's going to take big time damage from this Glacial Lance, right? Because what, what's it going to do? Go Grass, maybe? Maybe go Grass? I don't mind that. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. You could swap. You might not. We kind of know your team now. Should be Tatsugiri, Dondozo, and... And, uh, what is that? And Weezing? This, this is, uh... This could be a good match for us. He has to protect him down there. So that's fine. So we get off a of Glacial Lance here. I wonder what... I wonder what Weezing's going for here. Kind of curious. Just trying to waste out some turns. Trying to poison up a little bit. Or maybe just attack my Calyrex. Hmm. The Glacial Lance is going to hit up onto this thing. Not bad damage. That's great damage. Bring you down to the red. And Sludge Bomb's gonna fly, and that's going to actually chunk up a big time. Big chunk. I could go for Thunderclap here. I think I might go for Thunderclap. And then just go for Glacial Lance again. So I'm gonna go Glacial Lance. I am gonna go for Thunderclap here. Just to look to get off some damage. Because honestly, you outspeed. Especially if you go plus two with Tatsugiri's commander boost. We're just gonna go for Thunderclap. Play this one smart and safe. And it ends up withdrawing. Here comes the Tatsugiri. Yep, yep, yep. All day, all day. Neutralizing gas is gone. It's going, and out comes Tatsugiri, right? Yep, little fishy. Little sushi fish hopping into Don Dose's mouth. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping they go after Calyrex, or actually, I hope they go after Raging Bolt, to be honest with you. Let's see if they Terrasilize or not. I'm curious to see if they do or don't. This is really, like, the deciding factor. No, you're not going to Terrasilize, so Thunderclap should still be able to chunk up damage. I know you're plus two on special defense, and that does great damage, which is good news for us. Great news for us. Now you are going to take out Raging Bolt, which is the smart call. Which is the smart call. And now I can double down into you with Seed Bomb, right? I can I can attack you with Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb would have been a good play here. Glacial Land's going to attack you. How much damage are we pulling out here? Not bad. We bring you down real low. Real low with a crit. Real low with a crit. So this thing's gonna get back some HP. It's pretty much one shot it away. I wish I had protect on this Calyrex. I would just protect it and then just go into Horn Leech because I do have Sturdy on this thing. So I know I'm getting off a shot. I could just go into Follow Me. I could just go into Follow Me. Options, options, options. But I'd rather just attack. Actually, I don't have really Sturdy anymore after the poison. Oh man. I think I just have, I think I have to double down here. I'm going to go Seed Bomb, and on top of that, I'm going to go Ivy Cudgel, just in case he wants to Terrasilize into, like, a weird typing. And we can't, and it goes not very effective on both grass moves. We're just going to double down here. This is a protecting. Smart play. It's going to take off my sturdiness. He's going to read out what I'm doing. And I think, I think, uh, the moves that we're going for is in our best interest. But go for follow me. What's my play? This is actually tough. I might go for follow me here. Oh, man. Because I kind of want to keep Calyrex. But the poison just doing me dirty. It's just slow playing this one. I wish I had Thunderclap ready to go again. I wish I had Protect here. I think I have to go for follow me. I'm gonna go follow me. And there just comes the terror. Is that grass terror? Should I have one for Ivy Cudgel as well? Is that grass terror? Please don't be grass terror. Man! Yeah, we definitely lost now. Perfectly timed terror. Why couldn't you have done that last turn? Why couldn't you have done that last turn? Why couldn't you have done that last turn? 
GG sewer, but... Oh, man. Siege bomb, really? Really, jeans? Give me a crit or something. Doing negative five damage. Negative five. Yep, that's going to be game. Don Dozo clutching out from getting some big time value out of this Don Dozo. We were legit this close to actually win this match. Because once we took out the Don Dozo, we would have won this game. No problem. Especially with both the Pokemon that I did have on the field. We would have had no problem beating out that Tatsugiri and that, uh, and that Weezing. But he ends up spamming Body Press. We end up soaking it, but Poison, they can just protect next turn. And they'll win this match, no problem. But at least we do KO the Don Dozo. Wish we would have went for that last turn. Wish we would have went for that last turn. Because with this plus one on attack, Glacial Lance Calyrex can pretty much pick up a KO onto anybody. But yeah, he's got me Poison 2, Toxic Spikes early on into the game. Really hurts the soul. <clears throat> and Tatsugiri's just staring me in the face right now. I hate you, Tatsugiri. Actually, I don't mind you, Tatsugiri. I really don't like your, your partner, though, Don Dozo. So out comes Weezing, low HP. <clears throat> like I said, we would have won this match if I would just play this one a bit smarter. But I'll go for a Glacial Lance. Maybe something happens. Maybe we outspeed. This is a pretty fast Calyrex, let's be honest. But Tatsugiri probably outspeeds us. And I'd be surprised if they don't protect. And they don't protect, which is very odd. You should have just protected one of your Pokemon just to play it safe. But hey, Tatsugiri's outspeeding us. He connects with Muddy Water. GG's to our opponent. Moving on to our final match. And we are going up against a Terrapagos team here in match number three. Now, Terrapagos, great little Pokemon, especially paired up with Grimmsnarl. They can pop screens and really get after me. So I'm kind of scared of that. I might just want to go into like Urshifu and Pelipper here just to kind of bypass some screens for a little bit with Surging Strikes in the rain. And I actually kind of like that. I mean, they could go into the Fake Out user, obviously, of either Boom or Iron Hands. But either way, I still kind of like this. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to lead both of them. We are going to bring Iron Valley back in just because I like it with Moonblast being super effective onto three of these Pokemon, Raging Bolt, Iron Hands, and last but not least, Grimstone. That's good news. And we gotta go Calyrex. We have got to go Calyrex. So that is gonna be the play. Lock it in, lock it down. Looking for a win here in match number three. We are sitting one and one. Would love to grab ourselves that winning record. Would love for that winning record. Let's see who they end up going into. I think it's gonna be Grimstone and Tarab. Grimmy Grim and Trap goes to be the play. And I think it is going to be that. No, Grim Snarl is like the real deal. I hate going up against Grim Snarl. They're just so good, just setting up screens, just negating a lot of the, the damage coming out here. And they are going to lead Grim Snarl alongside with the fake out user. So we could detect here. We could just double down attack. I mean, it sure looks like screens is going to pop out here. I could terrestrialize into grass, which honestly isn't bad, but I think we just attacked here. And if we can, we just go for a... Let's go for a hurricane. I'm going to go for a hurricane this slide. I think fake out this fly into uh, Urshu. And if it doesn't, we have Cobra Cloak, so might as well just attack this Pokemon. Kind of go from there, see what Iron Hands wants to do. He's going to go for the fake out into that slot. That's not bad for us. That's not bad. Fake out pops there. Lage Queen's also going to fly here. And honestly, this Hurricane's going to do like negative six damage. But we're hoping for a little bit of duck action. Any ducks? Any ducks? Ducks? We get the ducks! Thank you. We get some ducks going. So we got some ducks going. Uh, we could tear grass if we want to. Could just go into certain strikes. I mean, tearing grass is not too bad. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to Terrestrialize. Do that, and I'm just going to constantly get off some damage onto this, uh, this, uh, what's it called right here? This Iron Hands. So he has, he's, he's got Light Screen out and about. We're going to go Grass just in case the Wild Charge is going to fly, and he's just going to hard swap. Go into somebody who's not going to take too, too friendly to this, uh, Weather Brawl. It's going to be Crest. Crest pretty good. He could pop Trick Room. Uh, we kind of know their team now, though. It's going to be Crest, Grimstone, Iron Hands, and their Restricted Pokemon, which is no big deal. Not too big of a deal. We did go grass, we kind of wasted turn, which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, kind of sucks. But we can get rid of uh, Grimmsnarl. That'd be nice. So he gets off his reflect his light screen. He does the whole, the whole nine yard kind of play here. Third strikes gonna fly, and it's not gonna KO, but still, I like leaving Grimmsnarl on the field for a little bit right now. I don't mind leaving Grimmsnarl onto the field, especially low red, because we know we can take it out next turn. We can now send Surge Strikes over into Crest. I kind of wish I had Water Terror at this point. Just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And honestly, Weather Ball picked up some nice damage. It picked up some nice damage. 
So we're going to search strikes here. We are going to follow through with... Uh, we don't really want to go for Tailwind just yet. We just want to go for a Weather Ball into the Grimstone slot. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. And he has a parting shot in my Urshfu, which is totally fine. I am using guaranteed crit moves, so it don't even matter. It don't even matter. The attack drop don't even matter. So he ends up swapping. He's going to pull out either Iron Hands or his Restricted Pokemon. And hopefully Surgeon Strikes can do some nice, dam nice damage to his Cresselia. Maybe even pick up the KO. I don't think it picks up the KO, but I still think the damage output should be good. But he's going to go back in Iron Hands. He wants Fake Out ready to go again. He wants Fake Out ready to go. And Surgeon Strikes chunking up some damage. Not going to be able to pick up the KO, like I said, but still. That's some good damage. That's some great damage. Press, what are you doing? You healing up? You going for Lunar Blessing? Trick Room, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Weather Ball doing pretty good. And you're going to go for a Lunar Blessing, which is not bad for us. I mean, it's not bad for us. Do I honestly make the read? I'm going to make the read that uh, you fake out my Pelipper this turn. So honestly, I'm just going to double down into Cresselia, just try to get rid of it. I think you fake out Pelipper this turn, thinking I'm going to protect. You don't. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. I should have just played safe and just detect it, but... Honestly, I thought they were going to make the read. Weather Ball is going to slide over to you. Are you going to go for another Lunar Blessing? Most likely, right? That's fine. So you take a fake out turn just to get your HP back up with... Uh, with Iron Hands. Again, that's that's totally fine. Surging Strike should pick up the KO onto you now. I'm just going to send it that way. And on top of that... Let's just go for another Weather Ball and keep chipping up damage. So we're wasting out Screen's turns just fine here. Screen's turns are being wasted out. He's going to withdraw Cresselia. Cress gets the withdrawal. We're going Surgeon Strikes in this slot. And he's going to go back into Grimstone. So he just wants Grimstone to sacrifice the shot. That's totally fine. Surgeon Strikes going to pick up the KO. And what are you going for? Maybe like a Drain Punch? Is that is that your play here? Maybe we should have went for a Tailwind. But um, I don't mind Weather Ball. Weather Ball does do decent damage onto this... Uh, on this Iron Hand, so I can't complain. Weather Ball looks so sick, though. It does look so sick. And he has some Swords Dance, so he's gonna Swords Dance pop. That's fine. Is it time to double down into that thing? It might be. Rain's gone, though. Oh, man, not Rain. I really need the Rain! Do I swap Pelly? Do I swap Pelly? Now it's Swords Dance. Trap Ghost can come out here. Not Terry. Not Terry the Trap Ghost. Chill on us, Terry. Alright, so Terrapicus comes out here. We're going to need to get rid of Terra Shell. I am just going to still rip a Surge of Strikes in this slot. And I think just swapping you for maybe, like... We go Valiant here. They can always disable a move. I will get some nice speed going. Yeah, I'd rather go into Valiant here. I'd rather go into Valiant, but that Sword Stance. Oh, man, that's looking scary. That's looking real scary. So we're going to get rid of this Terra Shell here. He could go for a combo. I don't like this thing setting up behind screens. It's just an absolute bear. So they still have Terra. They got Swords Dance popping. They are going to Thrasize here. Maybe I should have just went for a wide guard. Could have been in our best interest, but it's whatever. He's going to be able to pick up the double KO. This is tough news for us. This is tough. Not looking good. Yo, screens. I told you guys. Screens is a big time problem. Screens is a big time problem. Certain Strike's going to fly here. Damage is okay. It's okay. I have better, but we already know he's going into Terra Star Storm, and he's just going to drain punch my Iron Valiant. And it's going to be an easy double KO for me. Now, the thing is here, is we got rid of Terra Shell, which is pretty good. Reflect really helping him out here. But again, they're going to pick up the double KO, no problem. Now... I get to bring back out Pelipper. I mean, I really want the rain for Urshfu, so maybe I should just I should just attack the Urshfu to be honest with you guys. I should just attack the Urshfu, play that protect smart, and then get back out Urshfu in the rain. And honestly, we end up soaking up a drain punch. This could help us out. Do I disable Terra Star Storm? Am I? Can I do that? I think I have to try, right? <laughs> I think I have to try. I think I have to try to save Blintara Star Storm. I think I have to try. I'm gonna go for it. Can you disable Terra Star Storm? That is the question at hand. We're gonna go for Glacial Lance. We're gonna go for that disable. I should outspeed Terrapicos with my booster energy. I'd be very surprised if we don't. 
And if we can disable Terra Star Storm, hold up. We have a shot at this. You wait, who withdraws Trapagos there? What are you doing? Who does that? Who does that? Did you think I was going for a wide guard? Was that, is that what you thought? Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Glacier Lance doesn't pick up the KO on the crest. He's going to go for a drain punch here. We're able to soak. We're able to soak. And I got some speed right now. I got some speed, so I'm going to go for Glacier Lance here. I am going to go for Moonblast. And maybe I should just disable Drain Punch here. Screens are almost done, man. Screens gotta be almost done. I still have Paloops in the back end. Paloops could be a clutch little customer, man. With Hurricane and Weather Ball in the rain. Hold up, wait a minute. Who swaps to Rapagos there? Just, oh man, this didn't make sense. I mean, unless you thought I had Wide Guard. I think that was more so your play. And now you're just gonna swap Crest, which I think that's a dumb swap here too. You're just allowing your Rapagos to take some damage. That's fine by me. I mean, Reflect just helping him out so much. A bit too much. It really is. Glacier Land's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing here? Not bad, but just not enough. Drain Punch gonna fly and finish us off here. Um, Damn, we got some speed. We got some speed. Moonblast should be able to finish off him, right? Should be able to finish off Iron Hands. They could honestly hard swap Iron... Oh, you have a berry? Why do you have a berry? This is just... Everything's just not going good for us this match. <laughs> Everything. I was going to be able to pick up the KO with Moonblast here. Can Light Screen end? Can one of them end? Finally! There it goes Light Screen. So Light Screen's gone. We needed that because both my Pokemon are special attacking. And I'm just going to have to Moonblast. Right? Do I... I could attack Terrapagos here. How fast are you, Pelper? One of three. I could wide guard a shot here. I think Moonblast has a shot of KOA now. I'm gonna go for Moonblast in the slot. We're gonna wide guard. Hopefully, you are going for, you know what, Terra Star Storm. And Moonblast can KO. No, man. And you're going for Terra Star. Wow, dude. We could have. Mm. Lord, the stupid berry. Stupid berry. That hurts because I really wanted this win. We would have won this match. We would have won this match. You go for Wild Charge. Are you giving me a shot here? No. No shot. If we would have picked up the KO there, I think we would have won this match. Light screen gone. You are going to die at the recoil here. But again, now a 2v1 is just like, eh. Unless. Unless. Unless our one little hope here would be like Priscilla has no attacking moves and Moonblast can KO into Rapagos, but I don't think Moonblast can KO into Rapagos. I do not think Moonblast can KO into Rapagos. We're gonna go for it though. This crest is low HP. Moonblast into Terrapagos. Attack. And like to do some damage. KO? Nope. Just bringing everybody down to red today. Just bringing everybody down to red today. Tough loss here in match number three, but I still feel like we played this one really well, especially with Iron Valiant. One and two losing record for today's video. I feel like the record doesn't tell the story. I feel like we played pretty well today. I just think we played some really good opponents and really made some good plays and ended up beating us. I feel like that third and final match, screens were going crazy. Grimmsnarl with Light Screen and Reflect Negate, so much damage from us. We kept putting Pokemon in red and just barely not KOing them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.